Well, if we load the save, I believe we'll have some Quidditch. Yes, play Quidditch. Can I face against Slytherin? Or do I have to get 100%? No, I can do it all. All right. I guess this is it. Let's go. Let's face off against Hufflepuff, then Ravenclaw, then Slytherin. And then we have a final round against Gryffindor just for the sheer hell of it. <laughs> yeah. Harry against the rest of the team. Can he get 150 points by catching a snitch before they score 150 by putting it through it? No, Lee we lose. Jordan! Throw the cockle and try to do the hoops to score. Let's go. Yeah, and the not. snitch appears, releases speed rings. It's the most fun part of the game and we're saving it for last. Yep, and so. you better not catch it in 3.5 seconds, otherwise everyone's going to be worse. Won't. Imagine, Imagine if you'd spent, like, I don't know, £100 to see this game or however much it would be yeah, oh in God, three yeah. and a half seconds. Like, how pissed would you be? You'd be like, I demand my money back. I mean, this guy, you'd be like, wow, what a talent. But you'd also be like... Come on, at least fucking make it last a little longer. Like, I mean, there's... Imagine if it happened during, like, the final of a World Cup. Oh, yeah. So just... Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's actually got, like, a current time as well. I didn't have that before. I love how the I fonts in this game are just, like, real simple Times New Roman. Mm. I mean, it, it strikes to me like they didn't really have a lot of... I, especially in the next game, when you see some of the font for the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 1, oh boy, is it, like, is it not great? Is it look a right. bit fucked? I've heard that the Chamber of Secrets is really good as a game. The Chamber of Secrets for the GameCube and... Sorry, for the next generation consoles at the time, so GameCube, Xbox, and PS2, mm -hmm. are all good. Um, the second right. and third games are fantastic on those, but... Basically, the, a lot of money was put into this game, I think, because it was like the first the first one, a bit more money than... And then when it, the second game came out, a lot less focus was on it. Because mm -hmm. I think the PS1 was was square, squarely on the sort of dead side. Right. So while there's a lot of cool stuff in it, and it does follow the book quite somewhat closer than the other game, it just isn't quite as good in some places, and you can see the reuse of content to make the game in, in time. Or to mm -hmm. make just, the, just to make the game. I mean, that's not... It wouldn't be a problem, but the, this game doesn't have a huge con quality, a huge amount of content. So when you reuse it in the I next mean, game, it's you start still to pretty see. pretty good for uh, for PS One. It is, but I think it's also you also start to see it come come um, come a bit apart at the edges. Um, you mm. know what I'm trying to say? It yeah. like it's it's not the best. Um, it's oh, fun to play. Oh boy! <laughs> and I'd say at some point you should probably give it a good give it a stream, but. I somehow am close to the snitch, despite me being like an age away yeah. <laughs> from that ring. <laughs> but yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. You, you taught those in bunch a, of duffers. In a minute. In a minute and something. We did it. Let me just grab the case. A new Quidditch record. 126 points. 26. 21.66. Yeah. That's it. We did it. That's how good we are. We're the best. All right. Yeah. Nothing's ever gonna keep me down. No minute. Um, okay, so there is a bit more. You do go to um, you you go back to Diagon Alley mainly because this game has Diagon Alley in it, but it also has the other one, um, which is interesting. I wonder whether they made these games and released them <coughs> quite quickly after each other. Uh, within a year or so, yeah, probably. Because that would explain why there's some elements of the second game in the first game. Mm. <laughs> I've just tickled my throat. Um, the Jordan. Let me have a quick look. Oh, Ravenclaw, my house. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 beat you. Let's beat my own house. Um, there's a bit. There was a bit more going on with they. So they toned up wizard dueling. I think in response mm. to the fact that wizard dueling became a bit of a, a, a bigger thing anyway because of Gilderoy Lockhart, but also yeah. because um, the other games had had done it. So I think they took. They, I think there there must have been some cross-pollination between Argonaut and the team that was working on the GameCube editions, which is... Give mm. me a second. Sorry, I've just been literally no, dashing around to get the games from my shelf. Um, Fair enough. It doesn't actually say. I think it might have been W... Um, I think it might have been WB Interactive. It doesn't say... No, oh, it, possibly. No, it was Eurocom. Oh, okay, interesting. Eurocom also made Nightfire. They also made Crash Bash. Yeah. So you, you, it's interesting, and Eurocom I'm I think is a very, British company. very familiar with them. But yeah, that's cool. 
Ravenclaw. I just called. Oh, is it so Euricom? I wonder if it's still the same thing. Oh no, they 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 disappeared in 2012. Yeah, Eurocom's gone now. It was um, Derby, England, was yeah, where they were. Um, I don't know what like the people who worked at Eurocom are doing now, though. I assume working at different studios, but however many of them are, yeah. Wow. So in November they laid off 75 percent of their 200 employees, and then like literally 12 days later on they laid off its remaining staff and ceased operations. Wow. wow. That sucks. That would be really uncertain times. That would be awful. Yeah, I'd imagine for the years leading up to it. I mean, if, if 2012, like, what did they get in the 2012s? They had 007, The World's Not Enough on the N64, Crash Bash. I mean, they were doing loads of stuff. They were working for PlayStation, N64, Game Boy Color, um, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation 2, Xbox. Um, oh, oh crud. I mean, they were everywhere. They were working on nearly every yeah. system. They did make Spyro a hero's tale. That's a good game. Is it? Yeah. They made it was good. Robots, Batman Begins, which um, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. I don't know if that's any good, but cool. Oh, Eurocom made the Quantum of Solace PlayStation 2 release, which is seen as a bit seen as a bit of a dark dark horse or whatever the phrase is. Oh my god. Lee Jordan's face in that. Mm. Interestingly, I got point sixty six again. I don't yeah. know if that's a fixed thing or if that's just a weird coincidence. <laughs> But it happened. Could be both. But I'm gonna save over that, I guess. Yeah. Cool. I guess now you're n n now. Now that's... I can face against Slytherin. So, despite the fact they went out of business in 2012, they released a record number of games in the in, in the two years leading up to that. They mm. released uh, Vancouver 2010, GoldenEye 007, the Wii version, which was met with some criticisms. Rio Disney Universe, GoldenEye 007 Reloaded. Harry Potter for Connect and 007 Legends. And they had a couple they of games. They were still making Harry Potter games in 2012? Yeah, for the Connect. But also, they all, they'd also the got the Spider-Man. the last film was like 2010. Yeah. Surprising that they were still making a game, but fair And they're, they're also making a film for Spider-Man 4 that was supposed to be coming out the last... Oh, right, Harry yeah, Maguire. that got cancelled. Yeah. And it got cancelled and then the game got cancelled. So it sounds like it sounds like they had a lot of good deals with... Oh, they were responsible hmm. for Duke Nukem 64. Because that was an interesting oh, wow. port. And that recently got a port to PC and Switch and a few other places in what and it was treated treated really well, from hmm. what I understand. Hmm, cool. I like that this is snowing in this match. Yeah. Why have oh, I got two touch. instruction booklets for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in here? I <laughs> do not know. I got what why are there why are there two of them? And then there's a there's something here for Crash for not Crash, but for, for Tide Hasmanian Tiger. Well, solid game. It is. They've done a really good job of doing... They've done a model which I quite like, which is where they release things onto... Um, onto, oh, like, Steam as early access, yeah. and then, like, gradually start to make it better um, for, like, until they release it fully. As, like, yeah, a, it's released on Switch now. It is. Cool. It was one of their original backers, and they really got... Wow, what's going on there? I don't know. <laughs> Having a fun time. Oh boy. Having a ball. Don't stop me now. <laughs> Such a copyrighted cool, time. Snitch. Come on, I wanna go wanna be Slytherin. That's not Malfoy I'm facing, but I, I still wanna be beat them. Oh actually best. Malfoy isn't the secret. No, he's not. He is the second one. They they don't waiver rights for him like they do with Harry Potter. Yeah. Um they do he, he does become on the second year though. Yeah. And they say, oh my god, he's got Nimbus 2001! Whoa! Like, my father can afford a Nimbus. Uh, but it gives the whole team Nimbus 2001. Oh, this is cool. We get to go around the, the outside. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it feels like eventually they decide to do something cool with this. I think this is the match that you would be playing at the end of the game. Because mm. I reckon they're just straightforward clones um, of what is already in the game anyway. The sad thing is, there's not much variability in these. So while you're no. playing them and enjoying them, like cool, that, it would literally just be a more once run through. Yay! Yay. Snitch! Well I done. Did snitch. You, you've got the. You, you've done it. I've done it. I've beaten. It. Well done, Ari. You've done it. You did the snitch thing. Well done, Ari. You only gone and done did it. Whoa! He did it. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Look, look at Dumbledore, horrifying. though. Look at Dumbledore at the back. They all look terrible. <laughs> they all look really, really bad. Oh, boy. I mean, I respect it, I think. Do you? <laughs> mm, sure. <laughs> sure thing, but, boss. But yeah, it's pretty... Mm, yeah. Now, I'm intrigued about what happens now, because I don't know if that was the final match. Because, yeah, it's still on the middle. What? We're on the middle round still. Do you just keep going in this? No, because the top one is something... I don't know. I guess let's just keep on going and see what I happens. Will, I will try this one again and see what happens. Yeah, let's... let's... Oh, it's raining! Oh, cool! It was raining in a previous one, I thought. Was it? That's still nice. Yeah. I, I like it. Those are some big drops. Is it... I wonder if that's to do... I wonder if it changes with the, like, angle that we're at or whether it is just a texture on the screen. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. I mean, yeah. I can't imagine it's anything but a texture on the screen on PS1 era at all. Mm. It's nice, nice uh, colour palette for this one, actually. A little bit moody, but it's nice. <laughs> wow, that line is just a zigzag. PlayStation 1's prowess there with uh, with its... um. Uh, whatever it's called. It's not the depth buffer. So I, I wonder unsure. if this actually ends or whether it just keeps on going. It keeps on going forever and ever. Yeah, you have... We're dead. <laughs> it's, we'll, we'll, we'll be here for a while. But that's Ooh, fine. Oh, hold on. No, it started off and it was the, it was September. And then you had another couple of matches and it was like... And this is like the May time. So we went through December because we went through the snow time. So I wonder <laughs> whether it's just going through the year. Oh, I guess so. It could be. I guess. I guess that's that's possible. We'll find out whether one of them's like blazing sunshine. Got some nice yeah. dark, um, moody clouds back there as well. Yeah, it looks quite nice. So funny thing is, oh, um, is. Final Fight Seven Remix got released uh, recently, yes. and alongside it, a mod got released that I've been following for a little while, and it is AI upscaling of the backdrops in Final Fantasy Seven. And if you've ever seen the backdrops in Final Fantasy VII, they are um, not of the best quality. Mm -hmm. And they've the, the, up, the AI upscaling has done a fantastic job in most areas, and it looks really good. Um, so with the mod, this is the original Final Fantasy. This 7, is yeah. the original one, yeah. Um, and so looking looking to that, if people, what I found would be really interesting is if people were able, and probably will do, is starting to mod the music from Seven Remake into Seven. And like mm. maybe pull some of the texture models from Seven into, not that I see that happening because I can't imagine the um, the graphics engine can handle that fidelity, but it would yeah. be interesting to see like people being able to play the original game but with a lot of, with some of the benefits of the newer mm. ones like the music, because the music in, yeah. in in remix is is in in uh, was it remix remaster? Right, right, remake. Remake, <sighs> uh, is is <laughs> is, is is honestly. Uh, really good. There are some misses, but there are some really good hits. The soundtrack doesn't come out until May, does it? No, but it's, let's be honest, it's made better pace than uh, the Kingdom Hearts 3 soundtrack is, which is still nowhere Where to be found. Where did the snitch go? <laughs> no! No! Oh, did I still... Yeah, um, yeah, really? It. I feel like it's not earned, for sure. you still got to catch it yet. There you Yay. go. Yay! Yeah, I did not earn that. I... Totally screwed that up, but I'll take it. I'll take the win. Well done, Harry. You well went the done, wrong Harry. way at one point. Yeah, that is not a new record. What would be cool is if you saw, like, during this point, like, you had the points go up. And so it was mm. like, it, it was like, even if it didn't matter, like, even if it never got to, like, 150, but you just saw, like, them, you getting 10, the other person getting 10, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that'd be that'd, cool. That'd be interesting, and I would enjoy that. You have just saved over your... No, yeah, haven't. I'm aware. No, it's a different thing. It, I, it's it's saving the Quidditch matches, not the over. Action. Which is weird. I guess you can just save that. Yeah, we're still in the no, middle. No, no, it is literally. Oh, just... no, we are doing more. There must be an end to this, though. It, it yeah, can't go on is. forever. No, there is an end. So okay, let's keep going then. There's all right. Interesting. Six matches. We'll see what the weather looks like here, because that'll give us a good indication whether I'm right in terms of the yeah. the, the time is progressing. Oh, this wow, is it's really a lot dark. darker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can I be randomly struck by lightning? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Find out. It would be cool if they put lightning in, but I doubt they would. Yeah, on PS One, probably not. No. <laughs> PS uh, Lightning oh, in this economy. Say, say that. It did wow. just. There was a light. 
All right, okay. I take it back. I, it's not going to strike me, but they actually have put it in. There's clouds Fair as well. Fair play. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, actually. This looks like the end of all times. There's some massive respects. They've done a good job here. I've seen apocalyptic games that don't look as apocalyptic as this. This is like the Windows XP hills have just been hit by, like, dark and torrential clouds. Mm. Yeah, looks pretty good. And there, there is lightning. The, yeah. Is there thunder? Can you hear thunder? Uh, I briefly did, I think, at one point. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm happy they've got thunder. Yeah, it does. It's, it's lighter. It's not that loud, but it's there. Okay. Cool. I stand corrected. Well, there are no forks of lightning. There are flashes of lightning, which is mm. good enough. Yeah, I yeah for PS1, that's pretty good. I'll take it. It's pretty nice. Um, th there feels like this. There feels like there should have been more places in the game where you played Quidditch than if they put all this work into the Quidditch mode. Yeah. It would have been cool if it was in integrated into the the main game as opposed to like a side thing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But oh well. I actually cool. don't know how many times they played Quidditch in the first book, and I would Google it, but oh wow, you've gone. Oh, you've almost gone back to the. In the film, it's just once. Oh, the it? music though. The music when they do that is spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I think Lee no! Jordan. Lee Jordan's just having one of those, one of those moments. He, he, his favorite team is losing. No. I've got to get that snitch. He told on my mum. Oh, I don't even know what I hit, but it is interesting. But I do have health. Ooh, come on, yeah, because no. the bludgers will get you. Yeah, but that's why you got the little shields for the bludgers that we got in one of the upgrades, which is weird because it affects this game mode more than anything else. Like it mm. will not affect the main game. Yeah, that's Oof, true. This is going well. I feel like you might be on the verge of... I don't know if I he can I start catching it and then you've just got to watch. I do not know. And I don't want to find out. Yeah, I'd rather not. Oh, boy. No. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. It's so... Ah. Oh. oh, why? This isn't fair. Oh! Where the hell did it go? Why is it so taking this so is, long? This is Quidditch. Yeah, this is terrifying. Oh, thank God. This is actually terrifying. Yay. <laughs> it's like Potter's going for it, Potter's got it. Oh my God, that was actually quite tense. Fair play. The game's got hard at times. All right. Yeah. The final match against Slytherin. I'm trying to work out who the person in the top left is, but I can't. Uh, I'll have to look at them next time. <laughs> Top left. Okay, I will try and pay attention. But no, I, I like that there's there's quite a lot of Quidditch matches because it would be over real soon otherwise. Yeah, I feel like it's um because they're only like a minute and twenty. Yeah. But noise. Is it the finale? Yeah, it's the finale. Oh boy. Is it against Slytherin? What? It's get against... no against Slytherin? Yeah, it's got to be. What? But I can't believe it. We've been against everyone else, and oh my god, we've been against wow. the multiple. Oh wow, yeah, no, this is like hellscape. We're now flying through space. We're flying through the coronavirus. <laughs> That's That's just like... this episode does. Has it? I... <laughs> I mean, when this comes out, it's still going to be extremely relevant. <laughs> Yeah, no, it will be. People watching in, like, the year 2025. I think it's going to be taught in schools for generations, so I think it's still relevant. That's true. That's right, kiddos. We we were really genuinely worried about the the state of the world. We're, we're glad <laughs> Everyone's it got better. always worried about the state of the world. Well, yeah. Right, well, consider... Why is that bludger chasing me? Because they, they get harder and the bludgers will start homing in on you rather than just generally Snape, going up. Stop it. Stop it, Snape. I know it's not him, but still. Is your broomstick going a bit funny? No, not yet. I mean, the last match, maybe. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame they don't have that in. I know they do in the GameCube version. I think they oh, do. Really? Anyway. Oh, really? I'm not sure. Cool. I think they... Yeah, I mean, the GameCube version was is, is good because they were... I said the GameCube. The next generation version yeah. um, was no, was good because it was um, it was built on the, Harry, the Chamber of Secrets engine. 
So yeah. it was like they were able to just copy most of it, and it does have a pretty good, it does have a, a big staircase that you don't get in this game. Mm. Yeah, I like the moving staircase. Yeah. The moving staircase is cool. In real life, Whoa. it would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, it would be awful. But, like, as a concept for film and potentially game, you know, Yeah, cool. and magic book as well, let's be honest. Yeah. Not everything needs yeah, to be. Yeah, for, for reality, yeah, I'll know, it would suck. Like, it'd be the worst thing ever. But like, who, who thought this would be a good idea? Oh, Can't we just have multiple staircases at all times? Can't yeah. we just all learn how to teleport or get teleported or, I don't know, get some muggle lifts in the, in there? They feel like they're more convenient. Yeah, it's not really... Uh, I, oh, I guess you can... Uh, uh, when Guardian Levy goes, I was going to say, it's not really set up for people who are disabled. No, I've got. But the you could win Guardian Leviosa them if, if they couldn't walk. I mean, people could supposedly win I Guardian suppose. Leviosa themselves, but I don't know if that's ever a thing that's done in the series. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I don't think anyone has. There is a lot of that where, like, you know, but it's unsurprising because it is a book written for children and it's a book written about, you know, not uh, some some fairly complicated ideas for children, but nothing mm. like that, that over the top or not exploring, like, you know. It's not exploring the world in, in such depth, but I, I don't know who would write and explore the world in that depth. Yeah. Right, here we go. Oh. Oof, this time is going down real fast. Oh, boy. This is... Nailed it. Yay! I did it! You're a Quidditch World Cupman. I have done that! Yeah! Well done, Harry! You got the final snitch, yes! Top left. I don't know. <laughs> they are a person. They are a person. Oh, you actually get a cup. Nice. Hey, wait, silver? I, I don't know. It's a cup. I'll take it. Does I get an I'm extra satisfied. percentage mark, though? That's the question. Uh, probably not, but I, I'm, I'm happy with the fact that I got a cup. That's pretty cool. Yeah? I wasn't expecting one. I wonder one. where that displays. Yeah, I'm not sure. My display on the like Quidditch menu. Yeah, that's, well, these are the matches we did. If we go back, do we have a do we have a cup on the menu? Let's find out. That would be cool if we did. We do not. All right then. Well, that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It has been a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching and. Next time, something else. I'm not sure what. Hey. Bye bye.